Rock on, come on. Do, 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 do. Come on. <laughs> Tommy, I gotta ask you. One of my and and he seems to be lost a little bit in the sands of time, and it kind of bothers me because I feel like this man was one of the greatest, intense. What's he gonna do next? Kind of villains ever. Can you talk about Buzz Sawyer? He was intense. All right. <laughs> I, I know. I know. But we'll get. We'll get into is, his is intense, personality. Is, is intense. But uh, man, on is, screen, is intense a different word for high as fuck all the time? Is that like a different like? <laughs> I had a little bug. Hey, my, that's what made him dangerous. Yeah. Like the road warriors, you know, you just know you're going to fight for your life, but you never knew what you're going to get with Buzz. He kind of like that box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, but you guys, you guys danced for like two years, didn't you? I was, I was the only one that would wrestle him. <laughs> so, wait, so let me ask you, right? God. Professional wrestling, very physical sport. <laughs> Got to take care of each other. Okay. Ready to go to the ring. Buzz is knocking down an eight ball, and you're like, hey, I'm okay with this. We're going to have a good time. And you're like, what am well, I doing? With your right good now? money. With your good money. That's all, wow. you know, back then, that's all that mattered, you know. I mean, oh. you drew good money. But I told that Buzz, too. I mean, I told him, I said, you hurt me. And I said, I'm not going to work with you. Okay. You know, I mean, he knew. He, I'd see him take advantage of some of them kids. And I told him, I said, I can't work like that. I'm not going to work like that. And he never did. Now, he'd see Harley do a suplex on the floor, and I'd always be his guinea pig for that. And he hurt me a couple of times like that, but never, I don't think intensely, I mean, did he hurt, you know, did he hurt me? Just accidentally, a couple of times. <laughs> was, so, was Buzz a bad guy, though? Like, I, we've heard stories, and was he just mean and bad with bad intentions? I don't think Buzz had that many bad... Buzz just Buzz was just Buzz, and uh, if he if Buzz liked you, then you was good, and if he didn't like you, then he was gonna do what he could. Like if you and me didn't like each other, we probably wouldn't say nothing to each other. But but Buzz might go out his way to make your day miserable if he didn't like you. Okay. You know that's I you know that's uh I mean he was because he was always good to me, and if I seen he was in too bad a shape, I just went on about my business anyway. So, so I didn't have him, which I didn't travel with Buzz none. So, I mean, I can't really tell you. I mean, on the road, how he was. I mean, you know, he went his way and we went our way. Well, who was your road friend back in those days? Uh, of course, Nick Patrick. Uh, let's see, my cousin Johnny, Brad Armstrong. Rode a lot with Bob Armstrong when I first started. Uh, of course, Rick Martell, we traveled a lot together when he was in Georgia. Okay. And then Tito Santana, when he was Richard Blood, uh, he come to Georgia, and we traveled a lot together because we teamed up together. And then I traveled a lot, and mostly with Tony Atlas, because we had such a good long run as the tag team champions. Right. So let me ask you this. Tony, when he was in studio, told a story. Um, I guess he drove off the road. I think you, like, hit him from behind or something and he drove off the road in the car flip <laughs> what did he and the do? iron sheik had to pull him out of the car it's, oh my it's, god like you did something to him that made him drive oh, I, wrecked, I wrecked the car okay <laughs> i wrecked the car he was in the car with me okay so what's the story okay anyway that was a, that was another time when <laughs> a little too much party and we left the building anyway i've run off the road and the car flipped Ooh. and uh and uh Anyway, we had to take it, and it was, let's see, it was me, Tony, Nick Patrick, my cousin Johnny, and uh, Tony hurt his neck, we had to, they had to take him to the hospital, and, uh, but anyway, yeah, that was on me, that was my bad. Is it true that the Iron Sheet came down there, though, and, like, ripped the door off to get him out of the car? Or is that kind of fabricated? <laughs> well, I know him and Ole Anderson stopped and helped. Ah, oh, okay. So, so okay. He, he probably did, because the car was upside okay. down, so he had to yank it. So now, what are you guys upside down in the car and like? Is yeah. Like Tommy, what what are you doing, pal? <laughs> you put the having a uh, conversation. <laughs> They're upside down. You should have had that seventh yeah. beer. What the? We fuck? weren't really talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a moment of silence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? I'm thinking, what Shit. am I? I'm thinking, what am I going to do now? You know. So, so uh, what does anyway. what does Arn say to you? Uh, not Arn. What does Oli say? Oh, it's Oli. Oi. There will be riding high. I will be 